wizard. Hi, I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood, and today I want to talk to you about paint brushes versus staining brushes, using the right brushes, and how to use them as well, especially when we're staining a deck. And right now we're out in our training deck uh, in Shemung, New Jersey, and I have the different brushes and the different coatings, so we want to show you that stuff. We are, a stain brush usually is a soft brush. For the men, we know a lot because when we get our hair cut, a soft bristle brush like this is actually used to brush the hair off the back of our neck. I'm not so sure about the women, I can't speak for those. But it's a soft bristle brush and it's just like that. It's really easy on your skin and it's easy to stain with. The issue is, it's a lot of fine soft uh, bristles and it's usually China, uh, China, uh, China polyester blend bristle brushes. And what happens is you don't need a lot of stain in it. The problem becomes a lot of us have painted and not stained as much. So when we paint, we use a paint brush and we're taught when we paint to put a lot of product on the, on the brush and then brush it out. If you do that with stain, with a sealer or uh, a semi-transparent light body stain, it ends up dripping down your arm all over you, it waterproofs you. Um, my company, uh, some are, somewhat of a rite of passage is when the new guy starts, they don't want to tell him, you know, hey, put less on your brush and he comes back waterproof at the end of the day. So that situation has arisen a few times. So today let's talk about a little bit more in depth about these brushes. So a paintbrush is usually used for a paint or a solid stain. And usually what happens is we're taught to put a lot on, okay? And usually when we paint, if you watch the technique, we don't care. We're coming up and back on it, we lift the brush up, and then we just paint over it. And it kind of fills in, and it looks nice. That same technique can't be used for, st for staining. And again, we put a lot on the brush, we brush it out, and we put it on, and we work the brush, okay? And that's a paintbrush. And again, we go up and back. Now, one of the rules of thumb with using brushes, sealing, and staining is, to prevent lap marks and so forth, especially on a, on a deck, is it doesn't matter as much as solids, but as you use the sealers and semi-transparents, you always keep a wet edge. So we would keep a wet edge and work across the deck. And again, it's a lot on the, on the brush. We go over it, and then we keep going. And it's a lot on the brush. We'll put that down and put that aside. When it comes to sealing or staining a deck, these fine bristle brushes, you only need a little bit of stain. They make them larger so you can use a whole board. You can work these in and they work very well. Now when you're doing a, using a sealer on a deck, one of the best things you should do is do not lift the brush off of the surface. You only need to put a little in and watch how a little bit will go a long way. And what happens is we put it on and we leave the brush on the wood. And you see how that fills in real nice and goes a long way. It's a lot different, more deliberate. Paint brush, completely different. Sealer is a seal staining brush, not much stain. You leave it on, a little more, and then put it on. Leave the brush on the wood until, it, until there's no more product. When there's no more product, put it back in and you work your way down the deck keeping a wet edge, okay? And what happens is you, when you come up with the stain brush, that will leave a brush mark. It doesn't on paint or solid stains because what happens there is when we put the solid stain on or the paint, we fill that in with a more opaque finish. This, any imperfection, uh, not a good uh, procedure of the way you're using the brush, it'll show that up. So what happens is when you come up, it leaves a brush mark. You leave this on all the way until you run out of product, reapply the product with just a little bit in the edge, and then you keep going across the deck, keeping a wet edge. Then when you get to the other end, you'll be done the deck. Go board to board, don't work in sections. If you work in sections, you, get a, you, you don't get away with it because what happens is it dries and you don't have that wet edge. So now you're putting a wet on a dry edge and you get lap marks. Always keep a wet edge, go board by board. Then when you come back, you do the next uh, four boards. 
one thing we do with sealers is we do a wet on wet application. So we put the first second coat on before the first coat completely dries. So we'll do four boards across here. It's probably about 85 degrees today here in Southern New Jersey. What we would do is do the four boards, go all the way across with a wet edge, come back and just a quick wet on wet second coat, four more boards, and then we work our way through the deck. If this was our deck and uh, the camera that's facing me right now uh, were the house and we'd be working this way off of the deck, we'd start at the other end and work our way off. This being the house, I'm sorry. And we work our way off the deck. Um, but four boards, complete them wet on wet all the way across. Second coat wet on wet. That way you don't miss any spots. You put a real nice coat on. Brush application is the most optimal application according to the Forest Products Lab. You're taking liquid and putting liquid directly on the substrate. In this case, it's the wood. If you spray, spray actually atomizes or dries a little bit as it floats through the air and then applies to the surface. If you do spray for productivity reasons or whatever reasons, you still should back brush, brush out your brush marks or your drip marks and apply that second coat wet on wet, so back brush. Um, but horizontal surfaces, make sure you get that wet on wet application. Just to recap, don't lift your brush. Keep a wet edge all the way across and you don't have any dry marks. What happens is if I let it dry and I were to come back over with another coat, this will be a lap mark and that's what happens. So I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood. Thank you for watching the video. Use the right brush for your sealer. Use a different technique than you did with painting. You won't leave brush marks, you won't leave lap marks, and everything will be good. Any questions about the procedure or how we do this, leave something in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.